If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that one of my favorite dishes is peri peri chicken. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make peri peri salt so you always have it at the ready when you need it. This is a fantastically easy recipe. This is something that goes great with chicken, it goes great with any sort of meat really, and uh, just as an all-round great seasoning. So what we're looking at here is some salt first of all. There's four tablespoons of salt. We have one and a half tablespoons of paprika. We have two tablespoons of thyme, one tablespoon of granulated garlic, and we have one tablespoon of sugar. So you can use brown sugar, uh, white sugar, it's really up to you, but you need some sweetness in here, it really adds a, adds a good bit of flavor. And then lastly, we have our peppers. These are some peri-peri peppers from last year from my garden, and I've dried them very, very well dried. They need to be, you can't have any moisture here, or else this will clump up when you uh, put it away. So. I'm gonna take off these stalks and we're gonna be using just the red part of the pepper. Make sure that uh, if you don't want as much heat, you use either fewer peppers or you can take out the seeds as well. It's really up to you. I leave my seeds in uh, because I think it tastes great just like that and I like the heat. One other little thing I add, it's really up to you. I just really have a thing for it is cardamom. Just one cardamom pod and we're gonna add that in as well. So let's get started with this. We're going to just move some things aside. I'm gonna be doing this with a pestle and mortar. You can use a grinder. I can't actually find my spice grinder right now, but uh, I'm gonna use a pestle and mortar. Let's do it old school. And we're gonna grind this all up inside of this. So first up, we're gonna start with just taking the stem off these peppers. They're really nice and dry, so it's nice and easy. So once we've got that in there, we're gonna give that a bit of a grind and then we're gonna start adding some other ingredients. See how easy that is when this is nice and dry as it is at the moment. It really makes things nice and easy and the flavors that you can smell here are incredible. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna start sniffing because this is, <laughs> it's rather spicy. So next thing I'm gonna add is my cardamom pod. And then we're gonna be adding in our salt. I'm using a coarse salt. It's really up to you. If you wanna use fine salt, you can. I prefer these, uh, the coarser salt. Uh, you can use Himalayan rock salt, sea salt. I just prefer those. But if you wanna use plain salt, it's up to you as well. There's lovely colors coming together. Next up, we're gonna do the sugar. Now, it's up to you really. Uh, obviously, these are dry thyme, and it might make it a little bit difficult to grind in here if you really want it fine. I don't mind it, a little bit bigger pieces, that's why I'm actually leaving it to this part. But if you do want this to be more powdered, more granular, then I would suggest emptying this out and doing this by itself. But like I say, I prefer the bigger pieces inside this, so I'm gonna add it at this point. Wow, that spice is coming through. I can't imagine doing this with something like a Naga or a uh, Carolina Reaper even. There we go. I am happy with that. You can add this in at this point. Uh, these are the granulated paprika and the granulated garlic. You can add it in and grind it up if you want. I, I don't really see the point because it already is a fine powder. So I'm just gonna mix it in when I add it into my bucket over here. If you were gonna be doing this with a uh, electrical sort of spice grinder, then obviously you can just throw these things all in together. But uh, I, I do find though that you will lose some of this granularity. Sometimes you want a little bit of the granules there. It might make it a bit too fine if you put it inside an electrical mechanical spice grinder. So all we've got left to do now is just stick it inside this bucket. Give that a bit of a shake. So we mix in the powdered 
garlic as well as the paprika. So there we have it. It is beautifully mixed up our peri peri salt. Like I said, very easy recipe. This stuff seriously tastes good. For the amount of effort you have to put in, you get a lot out of it. And uh, it has a good spice. If you do want to spice it up a little bit more than what this is, uh, feel free to add in some, some hotter peppers. But honestly, if, if you want a really good chicken rub or a chicken seasoning, you really can't go wrong with this. The spice is just right. There's a good amount of spice, um, but the flavors really come through nicely. So give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye for now. Old man, old man, they're coming